The first Airbus A400M Atlas heavy transport aircraft owned by Indonesia has officially touched down at Halim Peradab Kasuma Air Base in Jakarta on November 3, 2025. This historic arrival marks a brand new chapter in the nation's journey to strengthen its air logistics and defense capability. The aircraft was formally delivered by Airbus Defense and Space to the Indonesian Ministry of Defense. A modest yet symbolic ceremony took place on the runway, attended by representatives from Airbus, senior officials from the Ministry of Defense, and key officers of the Indonesian Air Force. For those who stood watching, this was not merely the arrival of another aircraft. It was a sign that Indonesia's ambition to modernize its armed forces is steadily taking flight. This A400M is the first of two aircraft ordered by President Prabowo Subianto back in 2021, when he still served as Minister of Defense. After four years of assembly, testing, and quality certification across several Airbus facilities in Europe, the aircraft has now officially joined Indonesia's fleet. With its arrival, Indonesia becomes the 10th nation in the world to operate the A400M, joining a distinguished group that includes Germany, France, Spain, the United Kingdom, Turkey, Belgium, Luxembourg, Malaysia, and Kazakhstan. Worldwide, more than 130 A400M aircraft are in service, having logged over 220,000 flight hours in operations, ranging from strategic military transport to humanitarian disaster response. According to Carl Heinz Grossman, head of international at Airbus Defense and Space, this event demonstrates Indonesia's rising position within the global network of modern air forces. He described the A400M as the most versatile military transport aircraft in its class, capable of performing missions once handled by multiple aircraft types. It has become a symbol of advanced logistics capability for nations across Europe, the Middle East, and the Asia-Pacific. From a technical standpoint, the A400M offers remarkable power and efficiency. Driven by four Europrop TP400D turboprop engines, each delivering over 11,000 horsepower, the aircraft combines the heavy lift capacity of a traditional cargo plane with the speed and altitude of a jet. It can carry up to 37 tons of cargo, enough for two light armor vehicles or three small helicopters or more than 100 fully equipped troops. Its maximum range reaches 2,400 nautical miles, allowing it to fly directly from Jakarta to Jayapura or Jakarta to Darwin, Australia without refueling. This ability is particularly important for Indonesia, a nation spread across thousands of islands where distance often means delay. Another key strength lies in its operational flexibility. Unlike many heavy transports that require long concrete runways, the A400M can land on short, unpaved airstrips, whether dirt, grass, or gravel. This allows it to reach remote islands and isolated airfields that would otherwise be inaccessible. For Indonesia, this means the A400M can quickly deliver food, supplies, or personnel to disaster-stricken areas without waiting for large airports to be ready. It's a game changer for a country that often faces volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and floods spread across a vast geography. Inside the aircraft, the cabin design reflects its multi-purpose nature. With adjustable pressurization and modular floor systems, it can transform from a cargo transporter to a medical evacuation platform within hours. It can even serve as a mobile command post or a troop carrier, depending on the mission. Airbus and the Indonesian Ministry of Defense are also exploring additional roles for the A400M, including aerial firefighting. 
Using the new modular firefighting kit, the aircraft can carry up to 20,000 liters of water, dispersing it with precision over forest areas. It can be refilled in less than 15 minutes, making it ideal for combating wildfires in Sumatra and Kalimantan, where dry seasons often bring widespread haze. The second aircraft ordered by Indonesia is currently undergoing final assembly and testing at Airbus's production line in Seville, Spain. It is scheduled for delivery in February 2026. Once both aircraft are operational, the Indonesian Air Force will have a much greater ability to deploy forces or deliver relief across the archipelago in record time. The arrival of the A400M also strengthens Indonesia's defense cooperation with Europe, especially with France and Spain, two of Airbus's leading partner nations. This milestone builds on earlier deals, such as Indonesia's purchase of Rafale fighter jets and its partnership with Naval Group for Scorpene-class submarines. But beyond these contracts, the A400M's story is about something deeper a vision for long-term strategic independence. The government hopes to expand local expertise through technology transfer programs, enabling Indonesia to maintain and eventually manufacture key defense components domestically. PT Dirikantara Indonesia, the nation's aerospace company, is expected to play a key role in maintenance, crew training, and engineering support for the aircraft. For the Indonesian Air Force, the A400M's arrival represents a generational leap. It bridges the gap between older transport models like the Lockheed Merton C-1300 Hercules and the future of high-capacity air mobility. Its ability to combine heavy lifting, speed, and precision gives the military an edge in both defense operations and humanitarian response. And for the people of Indonesia, the presence of this aircraft offers something more than strategic value. It provides reassurance. It shows that their country can respond quickly when help is needed, whether it's delivering aid to earthquake victims or evacuating citizens from distant islands. The aircraft's arrival was also a strong message to the international community. It signals that Indonesia is ready to stand shoulder to shoulder with other advanced air forces, contributing to regional stability and cooperative missions under the ASEAN and UN humanitarian frameworks. In practical terms, the A400M will likely become the backbone of Indonesia's long-range airlift operations, supporting peacekeeping, military logistics, and natural disaster missions. It will also serve as a vital link between western and eastern Indonesia, where large islands are separated by thousands of kilometers of sea. From a broader perspective, this moment reflects how far Indonesia's defense modernization has come. Over the past decade, the nation has expanded its focus from basic acquisition to full-spectrum cooperation, covering training, research, and industrial development. The A400M is not just an aircraft, it's a statement that Indonesia is building a future where defense capability and national industry grow side by side. As the engines of the A400M roar across the Jakarta sky, they echo more than just power. They carry a promise of resilience, preparedness, and a sense of responsibility towards both the nation and its neighbors. In every rotation of its propellers lies a story of ambition, a story of a nation determined to keep pace with technological progress while staying true to its humanitarian spirit. Because strength, in its truest form, is not measured by how many aircraft a country owns, but by how much good those aircraft can do for others.